Hey, hey, everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday. I know it's not Friday though. So do I call it Facebook Thursday or do I call it Facebook Friday on Thursday? <laughs> I never know what to call it when I have to change the date. I don't know, Facebook Live on Thursday, we'll see. All right, well, let's see if you guys remember. I'm gonna just uh, move this, share this over to my page. Do, 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 okay, got it. Um, funny enough, just right before I went live, I could not find the stamp set we're using. <laughs> Actually, it's almost empty because everything is already ready, but this is it. I found it. Glad we're friends. It had, it had fallen down the side. Um, this is just a stamp set. It's not a bundle. There are no dies. So get your paper snips ready. <laughs> um, I do believe we are fussy cutting on every project. Sorry. I mean, you know, I'm just at the point where I have to cut everything out. Um, but they are worth it. Super cute and little puns, little funny puns. So um, I don't know, I've really enjoyed playing with this set. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we do that, I've got some things to tell you. Um, one week from tomorrow, this catalog and this catalog go live. They go live on a Friday, which isn't usually how our catalogs go live. Um, but next friday had to double check <laughs> next friday the holiday catalog i know it's blazing hot raise your hand if you're ready for christmas no i'm not ready but there are some really fun things in here that i will start using actually we're going to use some paper from this catalog today um, but the thing i'm really excited about is celebration we always love celebration um during celebration you get something free at either the 50 dollars or 100 dollars mark um on your purchases. So we always love celebration. So next Friday, Facebook Friday will feature a stamp set from this catalog. Can you guess which one is my favorite? You guys that know me probably know which one is my favorite. I'll just let you think about which one it is. Hopefully you've gotten your catalog. They should have arrived already. Um, but anyway, that's what's coming. And, um, I'm going to do a paper share and a ribbon share and full disclosure, I'm behind on everything. <laughs> um, normally by now I've got all that ready. I have priced it, but I haven't photographed it or typed it up. So it's coming. Um, I am going to Hawaii in July. So I'm going to be gone for like 10 days. So you're going to have to be patient if you're going to buy paper shares from me this year. I feel like since it's Christmas and holiday stuff, you won't be in a huge rush to get them. Um, but all those details will be coming out next week. I'm going to flip through the paper and show you in just a second what it what we have it is gorgeous. Um, before I turn the camera over, though, I do want to tell you about... I'm not seeing any comments, so let me over here make sure that I have everything up correctly. I don't want to hear my voice. Okay, good. Um, yes. Okay. You guys knew. <laughs> yes. The hippos. Those are my favorite. Yep. You know me so well. Okay. So now I can see your comments. Um, the all-star tutorial bundle. I've been doing this for many years. Me and 11 other demonstrators get together every month. Not really in person, but virtually and come up with tutorials. We pile them all together in a PDF and we give them away for free with uh, purchases orders over $50 everybody gets this for free the other option is to buy the PDF if you don't order from me or you're a demonstrator you know you put in your own orders um, but you still want the PDFs so we do a subscription well every month you can buy it for $15 right in my PDF store but every six months we open up the subscription for it and subscribers when, they, when you subscribe to have this delivered to your mailbox, to your email box, you get the six month for free. So you basically are subscribing. You can pay monthly or you can pay in one lump sum. It's for six months. It's for now until December. That's hard to type, July to December. Woo! Um, but you would pay $15 the first five months and get that six month for free. Or you would pay $75 up front and get all the next six months, that's the price of five months, but you'll get the six month for free. Um, I email them out to my subscribers on the first of every month. Um, and they're really great. Every month we pick a different theme or suite, like this month is Heart and Home. 
all the projects in here feature that bundle or the suite of products and they're video tutorials they're not typed tutorials they there are measurements in both metric and imperial there's a supply list there's photos but then there's a link to a video for each one so the subscription i opened it up this morning on my blog if you are a current subscriber and you've been waiting for it to to resubscribe now's your time it'll be open all july so you have all month of july to decide if you want to do that um they're great. I mean, I think they're fantastic. I actually go back and refer to years past tutorials to try to get ideas, um, inspiration sometimes, you know, so um, they're really good. And you can subscribe. So there are details up on my blog went up this morning. Um, and we're gonna have a blog hop. I don't know what the date is. It's not next week. It's the week after um, where you'll have even more details. And you'll we don't even have the sample of July yet. July features a wash in beauty. I can't remember. I've already done my tutorial, but now I can't remember. If you look at my blog post for today, for this morning, it has all six months listed what we're doing. So my project is done, but we don't have the sample of what next month's PDF looks like. So when, when we have that, I will update that blog post so you can see it. Okay. There's that. Um, all right. I think I'm going to turn you guys around and we're going to talk a little bit about, um, upcoming, mini catalog and celebration because it's very exciting and i um i'm hoping next month in july to have a class to go i haven't done a class to go in a couple of months just because things have been so crazy busy but i was working on it this morning um i've had a, a lot of videos i've had to film i've, I've had Yesterday, my husband and I drove to Houston for an Astros game, drove back. It was the entire day, so I didn't get to work yesterday. I took a kid to Waco on Sunday, pick up another kid tomorrow. I mean, it's just, it's craziness. So I'm behind, but I really want to get that class to go going, ready for you guys in July, okay? And it'll be the um, Happy Forest Friends class when it's done. Okay, so back to the mini catalog. This starts on Friday. Uh, next Friday, a week from tomorrow. I'm trying to see if my camera is shaking. I've got the fan on. It is. Let me turn it down a little bit. Um, one thing that's really awesome during celebration is that there's a starter kit special. And you guys know the starter kit is always $99. Um, you get to choose $125 of product in your cho of your choice and pay only $99 plus tax. There's no shipping either. Well, during celebration, you're also, in your starter kit, going to get this gorgeous planner. It is so beautiful. Um, there's a lot of months, honestly. It didn't even all fit in here. You're going to have this for a long time. There are stickers. Um, for those of you that like to do that, the fun planning, um, you know, with the, I don't know. What do, what do they call that where you decorate your planner? I can't remember. But um, it's really cute. There's also this stamp set that comes with it, making plans. Um, and this will be good not just for your planner, but for other things as well. I really like those fonts. Um, and then you've got these cute little journals as well. Um, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you're thinking about that starter kit during celebration, this is the bonus, the starter kit bonus, this gorgeous um, planner. So... Details, full details on that will come out next Friday. All right. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so that you could see what it looks like and uh, give it some thought. Isn't that just so pretty? We got to pre-order at Demonstrators. We all were like, we better be able to get it too. <laughs> um, and it's really cute. Okay. So there's that. All right. Let's talk about the paper share. You know what? Now I'm going to show you this too first. Um, next month in the new um, mini catalog. We have um, a new kit um, called the Nourish and Flourish kit, I believe. And it comes in this cute bag. That's a lunch box. How cute is that? Um, it has a simple card kit in it. Very simple. Any, any ability crafter can do this. But the really cool thing about this is that $3 uh, from every purchase is going to be donated to um, food insecurity programs 
around uh, different areas. So I just wanted to make sure I took a second to point this out. If you've made your wish list from the holiday catalog, you really should add this because it's a, it's adorable and it's a good cause. I'm not going to use it as a lunchbox. I think I'm going to just use it like for markers and stuff when I'm traveling. Wouldn't that be fun to just like throw your markers in and, and your adhesive and your scissors or whatever. So anyway, it's on the very, the very front of the catalog, I believe page five. Okay. So I just wanted to point that out. It's very cute. Speaking of kits, you have a week left for the buy one, get one half off kit sale. I've told you guys about that. And, uh, hopefully you guys took advantage of that during our free shipping sale this week. Um, believe it or not, I didn't even order during free shipping. <laughs> I, you know, just one of those days. I should have taken advantage of it, and I did not. I reminded you guys, but I didn't. I actually really didn't need to put it in order. So, I mean, I, if I planned ahead, I probably could have made it work, but whatever. Oh, well. Okay, so paper share is coming. I want to give you just a little look at some of the papers that are in the holiday catalog. I will list this um, next next week, possibly tomorrow. I don't know, probably not tomorrow. Maybe, we'll see. Um, but you'll be able to sign up. Um, I'll have it open for a couple of weeks and then it will not ship until the first week of August. Um, you're just gonna have to be patient with me um, because I am traveling in July and there's just a lot going on. Look at this paper, crazy, gorgeous, gorgeous. So most of this is holiday paper. I wouldn't call this holiday paper. This is the, um, oh, we just had a little crate thing. Oh, Splendid Day, Splendid Day. Very, very pretty. So there's that. So you guys who have gotten your catalogs, have you stopped to look at the paper? Paper's hard to see in a catalog, um, but this paper's cute. Look at that, ah, distressed polka dots, so cute. But in my paper share, you get, you have two sizes to choose from, either six by six. That is so cute. That almost looks like denim or something. Um, you can get a six by six. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that print. Hello, hello, so cute. You get six by six or um, six by 12, whichever you prefer. And then, so basically you're gonna get either a quarter sheet of every sheet or a half sheet. That way you can really see um, what papers you like. You'll get a little sampling basically of all of them. You guys, I'm sorry, I love the little Santas with all the different skin tones. Have you noticed this? Look, so cute. That is really cute, I love them. They are adorable. Um, but anyways, it's a good way to get, um, I love that, to get all of it without buying a package of all of it, because that's expensive. Um, and that, that way you can say, just like I did with this paper, like, oh my gosh, I love this paper, I'm gonna order a pack of that. Um, you get to kind of sample it. Look at that, interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, um, this paper, now I don't have all of this paper because I've already designed, I did some swaps um, with this paper, the Noma paper, oh my gosh, so cute. Um, it, there's a bundle that goes with this too. I'm sure this is on lots of your wish list. Look at the trees. I mean, come on, look. So cute. I think the gnomes are my favorite in the holiday catalog. All right, and then this, we're gonna use a piece of this today. It's called Black and White Designs. And guess what? It's all black and white designs <laughs> or black and gray. It um, is just very bold geometric patterns. This, if I was to design a pack of paper, this is what I'd have. Stripes, polka dots, checks, ginghams, zigzags, this is, I love it, stars, all right? So there's that. Now this paper is gorgeous to you guys. Do you know how much I love pumpkins? If you've been around for a while, if you've been around me, you know I'm obsessed with pumpkins in the fall. So this has black and white patterns too, but it also has more of that rustic kind of harvest feel. 
Let me just take it all out. Um, kind of, you know, when I first saw this, I saw this a long time ago um, when, when we were planning for my million dollar set. They kind of give you a sneak peek of some stuff. Um, and it looked very like chalkboard art, chalk art. Um, so I, I, I think that's maybe what it's supposed to look like. But I love the fall colors. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till fall. All right, that's that. Now here's my very favorite paper in the catalog. <laughs> it's called Cottage Gingham. No, yes, hold on, let me tell you the right name. Gingham Cottage. And it's got, it's a big pack of paper, 12 by 12. And it has a lot of colors. And they have big ginghams and little ginghams, okay? So you get four sheets of each color. This paper will last you a long time. So we've got like an orange, this, oh my gosh, I want a wallpaper in my house and this. How cute. I mean, seriously, that would be really cute wallpaper. <laughs> um, and the red, well, maybe I want the red as wallpaper very cute. I love the opposite. So they're just all the same patterns pretty much. Um, and just different colors that you'll be able to use for, I mean, gosh, so many different things. Gorgeous Halloween, um, mint macaron. We're using this one today. Um, gray and white. That's very pretty black and white. You guys know how much I love black and white. We've got green and we've got orange and black and white. So this is a huge pack of paper. I think it's $30, but it's got a ton of paper, four sheets of each one and they're 12 by 12. So, and then we're using this yellow as well today because I'm, I'm thinking, I, I think yellow is my favorite. Yellow is definitely my favorite pattern. Um, okay. So now um, celebration paper. If you buy the paper share and the ribbon share, you'll get, um, some of the celebration paper as well. So let's look at it. This goes with the tree rings, um, bundle in the mini catalog. I wouldn't call this holiday paper more like, I mean, I think that's fall-ish, but then that's not. So, you know, you can get a lot of use out of that too. That looks Christmassy to me. Very nice. And then you're also gonna get, we've got another host paper or stamp and rewards paper, giant 12 by 12 stack. Look at this. I mean, it's like they said, okay, what paper does Sirwin want? We are going to give her all of her favorite kinds of paper in these catalogs. Love it. Okay, so there's your sneak peek of papers. It's coming, I haven't photographed it. It's very hard to photograph paper shares. Um, we don't, we can't share photos of the inside of the catalog. I don't know, I may just do it without a photo and say, go watch my video. How's that? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, details on that were coming out um, in the next week, next week, um, I don't know, within the next seven days, there will be a ribbon share as well. And I will show you the ribbons next week. Okay. Um, that is that. And I'm going to do a little bit of prizes and then we will get started. You guys, um, it's so weird. It feels like no one is talking because my thing is not giving me comments. Okay. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I know it's Thursday, Facebook Thursday. Um, welcome. This week, I always pick, well, I try to pick one product and do three projects. So we're doing the Glad We're Friends stamp set from the annual catalog today. There is a free PDF over on my blog. Um, it has details for all three projects and um, measurements, supply lists. There, the paper from the, that we're using, um, the DSP, all of it isn't available till next Friday. So in case you try to enter those item numbers, I meant to highlight those in a different color and I didn't do that. Um, those things that I talked about are here. The last chance list is still happening. You have one week left um, to shop the last chance list from the other mini catalog, which is this one right here. This is leaving us on Thursday. So there's retired products online that you can go look at. 
Um, the tutorial bundle details and Club Create <coughs> still closed, but um, PDF is available if you want it. Okay, all right. Let me get a drink, I'm thirsty. Okay. Um, also, if you like today's projects, um, and you would like me to send them to you. Sorry, I'm sticking my head in the camera. If you would like me to send them to you for free, um, I will do that. It, as long as you put in an order by Monday at midnight using this co host code, I will send you today's projects for free as a thank you. They come looking like this. You're going to need the stamp set. I don't do any stamping. Um, but I send in, um, a thank you tag in the front, embellishments, anything else. There's one other thing that you'll need, and I'll point that out today as we go. Um, but most of the die cutting will be done for you. And, uh, oh, here's the other thing. Um, we are going to the beach next week, um, Monday through Thursday. So if you order for this, and like you guys that ordered for free shipping, it's going to ship a week late. Okay, so there's going to be a delay in getting your make and takes about a week. I'm going to work on them a little bit this weekend, um, but most likely it won't ship until the following week. Okay, usually I get those out the Wednesday after, but that is not going to happen this time, unfortunately. Okay, prizes, Melanie Foy. Thank you for sharing the video. You are the winner of Paradise Palms. Melanie, I don't know if I have your mailing address. If you will message me, please. Um... And uh, let me know where to send it. I would love to send this to you um, as a thank you for sharing the video. This week, we've got Pretty Birds as a prize. I love pretty, this Pretty Birds bundle. It's on uh, my Facebook Friday list for the summer, so stay tuned for that. It's really cute. I'm not necessarily a bird person, but I love this stamp set. So if you would like to win the bundle, let me know that you shared the video in the comments, and I'll pick somebody at random next Friday to win. Okay, we are ready to stamp. And I hope you guys have your paper snips because we're going to do some fussy cutting. I know, I can hear your groans. Some of you are not happy with me, but you know, if you, you can always adapt these projects. If you don't like fussy cutting or if you want to make something and you don't have exactly what I have, adapt it, change it. Punch it out with a circle. I don't know, just do something different. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Okay, so I, last Sunday actually, took my daughter up to Waco, that's a three hour drive from here, for a tennis camp. And I stopped at the gas station to get a snack. And I found these. Now I've seen these before um, at Walgreens. And we had one, and they were crazy good. Reese's Big Cup with potato chips on the inside. I know, how weird is that? But let me tell you, it is delicious. Salty and sweet, and a little bit of crunch in the, in the middle. Yum. So I designed the box for two of them. They fit two of them, okay? Uh, I highly recommend the Reese's Potato Chip Cup. Um, has anybody tried them? Don't say, ooh, I hear you guys when I get new candy, some of you are like, ooh, that sounds disgusting. And then I'm like, hey, like the blueberry Kit Kat. Man, I got a lot of grief for that blueberry Kit Kat. Let me tell you, that thing was delicious. Delicious, you guys. <laughs> Best of both worlds, Emery, you're right. P uh, Reese's and potato chips. I know, so delicious. Okay, so we're gonna make the box first. Um, let me make some room. Remember, the PDF is over on my blog. The measurements are here at the bottom. Um, let's start with the lid. You're gonna need a five and a fourth by six and three fourths piece of So Saffron cardstock. And we're gonna use a shim on this because this is the lid. We want it to be just slightly larger than the bottom. So I've got a stack of about seven seven or eight post-its here, and I'm gonna put it on the right side or the left side of my Simply Scored. And I'm gonna score it at one and a fourth on all four sides. All right, so all the way around. That only works when you're doing the same measurement on all four sides. 
All right, next for the bottom, we've got thick basic white that is six and three fourths by eight and a fourth. And we're gonna score this one at two inches on all four sides. All right, my house is quiet for the first time. You know, the two littles, the littles, 13 and 15, they're away at camp this week. And um, let's do the lid first. And my oldest, like, didn't have work at all. So she's home <laughs> all day. Mom, mom, hey, mom, mom. I'm like, oh, my gosh. They, they're never, they're, you know, they don't ever all go at the same time, except for right now I have, like, a three-hour window. It's like, perfect for Facebook Live. Anyways, I complain about them, but you guys know. I love them. They're just really loud. <laughs> I have three teenage girls, if you don't know. Okay, so we've burnished those lines. Um, we're going to cut the corners, okay? So from one score line to the next. My little one, my 13-year-old, is at like a church Christian camp. And she's been, I don't know, she's probably gone four or five summers. And she was very excited. But all the pictures I've seen of her posted, she's standing there like she's mad and bored. So, but that's kind of how she hangs out now these days. <laughs> It's mad and bored. So we'll see if she had, maybe she's too cool for it this summer. I don't know. Um, okay, so now on the long side, snip those score lines. There were, you know, cute boys around in the picture. So maybe that's why she's standing around like she's bored and mad. But hopefully, hopefully she still had fun. Her little bestie didn't get to go this year with her at the same time, which may, she, she was a little apprehensive about it, but we'll see. We'll see. I want to show you, I'm going to put some finger notches right here inside. I've got a retired three quarter inch punch um, that I'm going to punch just like that in the middle of the short side. You know, 13 year olds are hard to impress. <laughs> and they are hard to um, make happy. <laughs> um, everything is embarrassing. Nothing is cool. You know, like, like you, you don't know anything. So that's where we're at with that one. All right, so I put Tombow on all four of the little triangle uh, corners. She's the most 13 year old of the three that, you know, at 13, they were all different, but she's the most like classic, what you see like on TV, you know, like in a sitcom, <laughs> she's the most classic 13 year old girl of the three. The oldest was, was pretty good. Um, the middle one was very, uh, you know, high strung, emotional, but this one is just very like, oh, mom. I'm very embarrassing to her. She'll die if she knows I'm talking about her on Facebook Live. <laughs> Let's just embarrass her some more. She's actually a very good kid. They're all three very good, very smart. She's our athlete. Um, hopefully she's having lots of fun in the Texas heat. Oh, yes, Brandy, 12-year-old is uh, so sweet. Yes, mm-hmm. It's a, it's a rough go, middle school years. But then they, they turn into normal people eventually, hopefully. All right, I'm doing the exact same thing here on the bottom. Um, you know, when my middle one now is gonna be a sophomore and we she's just, she's got a job now and she's just so pleasant and it's just gotten easy. So, you know, and my, my oldest one was like that too. Um, so there's hope. <laughs> <laughs> there is hope. And my mother will attest to, I was the exact same way. She loves to remind me of that. So, you know, what goes around comes around, I guess. All right, the bottom, we're not going to put those finger notches. We are just going to put some glue on those little triangles and fold them up. Um, I don't have any more clothespins. Well, I lied. I have one. Oh, no, no. Look, remember, I have my new clothespins. Let me open these. Clothespins are just so good to hold your glue in place while you're doing other things. No problem. There we go. 
All right, so you guys are making me laugh. So is it hot where you guys are? Is it still hot up north? Because it's pretty much the surface of the sun here with like rain. There are, our Texas has forgotten what rain is. It's just, it's very brutal, you guys. Very brutal. Okay, we're going to make the shaker. Let's do the shaker. So I am using some new sequins called um, For Everything Fancy Sequins. Does that, sound, does that sound right? For Everything Fancy Sequins. And they're expensive. I thought, wow, that's expensive. But they come, there's actually a third one. There's a ton of them. So you're getting a lot for that price. And they come in these little um, plastic, what do you call these? Containers. Um, and they're separated. Um, we had some sequins before that all were in like this one container. And if you accidentally hit it, then they were all everywhere. So I love the way that they are stored this time. They come much better can I speak correctly? They come in a better designed package. <laughs> oh, words are hard. All right, so we're gonna make that frame first by grabbing um, our two rectangle, um, stitched rectangle dies. And we're just going to put them together like that. If you're worried about the wiggle, then tape them down with some Post-it tape, I think I did okay. Let's run this through. And we'll pop that out. Save that rectangle for something else. You just want that frame that you made. And um, I have two window sheets here that are the same size basically of my rectangle, okay? So we're gonna glue this rectangle, of wi the window sheet to the frame. And yes, window sheets are in our catalog. It's just clear acetate, okay? Well, and now I've got glue on this one. So let me, let me just see if I can get that nice and clean. Nope, okay, well, we'll make this one the front. All right, set that down on there like that. And let's give it a few minutes to dry. And while we do that, we will stamp the guinea pig. How cute is the guinea pig? When my youngest was in fifth grade, they had a class guinea pig and she begged and begged and begged for us to get a guinea pig. And we did not give in. We had given in with the rabbits and <laughs> learned our lesson. Um, but she loved that guinea pig. I am using some of our natural tone Stampin' Blends to color. Um, this is number 600. And if you look up guinea pig on Google, you will see most of them look like this. This kind of, you know, it's got two different browns kind of spotted with some white. So that's what this one's gonna look like. This guy over here, he's not gonna be as exciting. He's gonna be all number 600 with a white belly. And we'll give him white feet too. Guinea pigs are cute, but you know, they're big. The bigger the animal, the bigger the mess. That's what I say. All right, now I'm gonna take number 200 and just kind of add in some dark. And what I have found, you guys, you know, Cinnamon Cider retired, but this color, this one that I just did, 600, is very Cinnamon Cider-like. So if you're looking for Cinnamon Cider, like for the next project with the little dog, for the Corgi, I think Cinnamon Cider was a good color. Well, this one's good too. It's very similar to Cinnamon Cider. Okay, do I have scissors? I do. Um, oh, yes, Lisa, your puppy's cute. Puppy training. I know, boy. A puppy can just ruin your house real fast. <laughs> just like a rabbit can. One of the things we're going to have to fix when we move is the baseboards. The rabbit likes to chew the baseboards. Because um, a rabbit, if you're brave, is litter box trained and can hop around your house. And we did that for a little while. 
but uh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Rabbits are designed to be outside, running around where there's grass. That's just my opinion. We don't have rabbits anymore. We did for several years. All right, so just take your snips and go around and around, leaving a little white border around your cute little guinea pigs. And I have cut out a blushing bride label. And I'm gonna stamp the little sentiment that goes with these guys. It's guinea, guinea be a great day. Like guinea pig, it's guinea be a great day. Um, and then we'll grab somewhere over here. I have filmed like 12 videos in the last two days. And now my table is a giant mess. Training videos, future videos, club create videos, all-star tutorial videos, all kinds of things. Okay, so now let's come back to this. Remember how we glued the window sheet to the frame. I'm gonna use our foam adhesive strips. That's really what these are designed for, is to make shakers, they're perfect. So I'm just gonna go on around and around, trying to stay kind of close to the window itself. Because if you, if you go down, if you give your sequins too much room over here, then they can kind of hide under that lip and you want them to be seen. So I like to keep my, my little border here close to the window so they can't hide. Make sure that you don't have any gaps or your sequins will escape. We don't want any rogue sequins flying around. All right, now take off that backing like that. Take your second clear window. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we wanna make a shaker, not just a window. Take your sequins and sprinkle them in. This is the third time I've made a shaker today. I actually made another shaker um, for a class that I'm working on and I did do that and I had to rip it apart because I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, now carefully set down your window sheet so that there are sequins inside your window. Look how fun. I mean, you know, a shaker never loses its, its appeal. They're just so cute. Kids and adults alike like shakers. All right, now let's put this all together. We've got our two Reese's potato chip cups. <laughs> Found them at the gas station, but I saw them at Walgreens too. And our lid is going to hopefully um, hopefully, yes, slide down <laughs> onto our box. And here is some of that new gingham cottage paper. We're gonna use the little dots, I mean the little checks, because I think that that shows up a little bit better. We'll wallpaper our craft rooms with the back side of the gingham cottage DSP. All right, look, it's so cute. And then we're gonna get I'm just gonna use stamp and seal on this. Go around the edges like this and lay that down. I designed this box to fit this rectangle. Okay, I measured the, I knew what I wanted to do and I measured the rectangle before I made the box. The, these rectangle dies are one and a half by four and one and three fourths by three and a fourth, in case you're wondering. Okay, now, last but not least, let's put our little guineas, our cute little guinea pigs, across the middle like that. And then I have some more sneak peek uh, product for you. This is the Soft Sea Foam Seam Binding, right? Yeah, Soft Seam, Sea foam seam binding. Every time I type soft sea foam, it autocorrects to soft seafood. So if you ever see that <laughs> on a, a PDF of mine, just know it was autocorrect. Soft seafood. It's 
it's probably not what we want. We want soft sea foam. It's um stiffer than normal uh, seam binding. Our, our white seam binding is real soft and crinkly, but this kind of has some, you know, it's kind of starchy, stiff. And I'm gonna get a little glue dot and put that right there. And there you have it. Now look, I've got three. I've got to leave one for my mail lady. She's been working her booty off for me. How cute. What do you guys think? Little tiny guinea pigs. You know, there's not really a, a treat specifically that goes with a guinea pig. I couldn't think of anything. So we'll just use Reese's. Reese's are good at any time, if you ask me. Okay, now project. We started off really with the hardest. We're going from the hardest to the easiest today. Man, why am I so thirsty during Facebook Live? Ah, I'm so glad you guys like it. Thank you. Okay, now let's get all of our trash. Next up, I think you guys are going to love this one. Where's my other tray? Oh my gosh, it's over here. <laughs> it was like, well, the other project has disappeared. All right, the Corgi. The adorable little Corgi. We're going to make a spinner card and watch. The fan is blowing him. Did you see that? The fan is blowing him around. I mean, I could do it all day. He's so cute. He's so cute. All right, so we're going to make a spinner card. This is called a spinner card. And yes, you will be doing some fussy cutting. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, now corgis are usually kind of an orangey color. My mom has a corgi, her name is Millie, and she's very orange, she looks like a fox. But we're gonna go with a gray color today. Um, they actually come in different colors. I don't think they come. There's like a black and white looking corgi. They mix corgis, like a, what do they call them? A border collie corgi? Like where, you know, border collie and a corgi got together and they had babies. Um, super cute. And they, there's also, they breed corgis with um, like cattle dogs. So they call them a cowboy corgi. And so they have like black and white, that kind of like, what do they call that? Meryl, you know, the little like, like a calico on a cat. Um, corgis are funny. I've never been around a corgi until my mom got until, well, until Millie. And she is a clown, that dog. She is hilarious. They sleep on their backs like they're dead. And I mean, she just like rolls over. And she literally looks like she's dead and she's sound asleep. It is the funniest thing. And they do this thing that's called splooting, where they lay down and they stick out their little back legs. You know, kind of like a frog. Um, Pepper, my schnauzer, does that too. I'd never had a dog do that before. And I don't know if she just does it or if she learned it from her best friend, Millie. But it is really funny. Okay, so we've got Smoky Slate. I'm gonna take Flirty Flamingo and those ears. Now that's a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna take my color lifter and kind of soften it up. All right, and now we're gonna take So Saffron and color this little fan. I mean, who knew we needed a stamp with a fan? Well, now we do. It's so adorable. And it's got the little like streamers blowing on it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna color the streamers. Now, when we get to fussy cutting, it looks like it has pieces of bacon <laughs> flying off of it. Um, when we get to fussy cutting this, there are the little pieces of bacon or the streamers, the little ribbons that are blowing. And then there's also these little just, lines like squiggly lines we're just gonna cut the squiggly lines off okay the other thing you could do is just go around the whole thing if you wanted nobody would fault you however you want to cut it out 
but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. All right, cut off all that excess. I kind of got out of the lines with my little dog here, so don't look closely at my coloring. I didn't do great. And he's got some little spiky hairs too sticking out. So really, I'm just going to go kind of like a like a cloud, a little border around the outside of him. I'm not going to get real technical with all those little hairs. Okay, I have to tell you guys. So we, I bought my husband these um, Astros tickets for Father's Day. So he and I went over to Houston. It's a three-hour drive. Did that yesterday. When we got there, we were a little bit late. The game was about to start. And I kept hearing what sounded like Stranger Things. And in my mind, I'm like, why am I hearing Stranger Things music? And then as we're walking to our seats, I see everything is Stranger Things themed. The music, all their, you know, like their digital lights, everything was just Stranger Things. And they were playing Never Ending Story, the song, and they played all the 80s music during the game. It was so fun. I had no idea. I don't know if all the baseball game, baseball teams are doing that, but if you have a chance to go to a game and you like Stranger Things, go, because it just made the game way more fun. <laughs> I don't mind baseball. It's fine. But, you know, it's really for my husband. But having Stranger Things there was cool. And if you watch Stranger Things, Erica, the, the little girl, um, the sister of, um, what's his name, Lucas's sister, she threw out the first pitch. And one of the guys from season four, who's like in the band, the little like nerd band, he um, said the play ball at the beginning. So it was a total um stranger things theme it was really fun now you guys see what i'm doing here see the little skinny squiggle line right there i mean we don't need that and so i'm just kind of cutting around these streamers like that okay there we go so anyways i i couldn't wait to tell you guys about it i was way more excited about the stranger things theme than i was about the game there were five home runs in the first inning four or five in the first inning which was exciting and then after that it was a snooze fest <laughs> as baseball is right no we had fun a little day date is always nice okay so now to make your spinner if you've never made a spinner before it's two pennies you can also use washers and you've got to make this little um, track here for it to slide around so i've got a piece of mint macaron um, cardstock. And I am using this skinny die, long and skinny die from the Harvest dies. I thought it was from the Sending Smiles die, but that one is fatter. This one is skinnier. It's from the Harvest dies. You can use some other things too. This is one of the things that I'm not going to cut for the make and takes because you'll see I have to move it around and it's, you know, tedious. You can use, we had a word window punch you can use that. You can just use your trimmer to cut out a little rectangle. Um, look at your dies um, and see what you can use. Where is my post-it tape? Um, to cut yours. It's not long enough, but no problem. We'll just scooch it down and cut it again, okay? So run it through like that. And then, this is post-it tape, by the way. I linked it for you on today's blog post because I've used it several times. Um, it is from Amazon, and it's about $4 for a roll. All right, so now, to make this a little bit longer down here, I'm sticking it in that track, right? And I'm just extending it a little bit further that way. And I'm going to run it in just boop like that until you hear it. You'll hear the die, you know, kind of snap. And then you've cut a longer track. All right, a little cheater, cheater method there because our die wasn't long enough. Okay, so let's get this set up. I've got a mint macaron card base. And look, here's that fun uh, Gingham Cottage DSP again. And we'll put that on here. Now I have also cut a stitched scallop border from Mint Macaron, contour scallop dies. 
And I'm gonna put that down here. Now, I cut it crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> we can make it hide behind our little thing and make it straight. Let me see, is that straight? Yep. Is If this edge is crooked, all you gotta make sure that this edge is straight. Okay, now, I'm gonna use those same, if I can find them, those same foam adhesive strips. I didn't list this on the supply list and I probably should have. Foam adhesive strips. And um, you want to put them down close to the edge of the cardstock so that your pennies have room to, to spend because one of those pennies is gonna be on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna put some adhesive also on the end. Like that. My comments, you guys, are just not appearing, even when I tap. So weird. Okay, there we go, like that. And now we're gonna just set that down on that scallop border like that. Okay, now two pennies, dig them out of the couch, whatever you gotta do, find two pennies. This card's a little more expensive than your other cards because we're adding two pennies. Now I'm gonna take two mini dimensionals and stack them here on this penny, okay? Now I'm gonna slide this one into the track underneath, if I can get it there, okay? So see how it's under there like that? Now I'm gonna adhere that other penny to that penny. So now, you see where we're going with this? All right, sorry, Abraham Lincoln. You're gonna get covered up Don't tell the Treasury Department. Put in some glue. If, if that bothers you, just use some washers. Go out to your garage, dig out some washers. And we're gonna glue him right there, okay? I need to give him some time to dry before I start spinning him. Um, we're gonna take the fan, and we'll put the fan over here. like that. And then I've got these two So Saffron hearts cut with the Give It A Whirl dies. My most frequently used dies. And we're going to put that one right there. And we're going to put this one, you know, yeah, I think that'll be okay. Right there. Okay. All right, now let's set this aside to dry. Oh, I forgot his little tongue. I forget to color his tongue every single time. Don't forget. There we go. All right, now for the sentiment, I wanted to put it on little banners like that look like they're blowing. So in order to do that, we're gonna, we're gonna do some masking off and uh, stamp it twice and then cut it with our um, stylus shape dies. So let me clean this really well. And again, you need that post-it tape. And it says, I'm blown away by you. Well, the I'm, I'm not using. I think it's fine. That's one of those, nope, 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 this way. That's one of those, um, we can leave that word off. Okay, so blown away first. Cover everything else up with your post-it tape. Um, where's my ink pad? It was here, we used it once. Oh, it's right here, it's upside down. All right, so memento black. Peel off your tape and stamp. Okay, now clean it really well. Get some post-it tape again, and this time we're, we are 
taping off, I can use this tape again, taping off the top part and we're just inking the by you. And we'll stamp that down here. Okay. Now, you're like, what are you doing? What, what's happening? Well, let me show you. I've got these two banner dies from Stylish Shape Dies set. And we're going to put these on here on the left side of the die. And that one is worrying me. So let's grab that other piece of post-it tape. Hold that down. And whoops, well, I guess we need post-it tape on both of them. Okay. And run it through. All right, now careful with your tape. It should just peel away, but you wanna be careful. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut these a little bit shorter, like that, and like that. And we'll bring our card back over. And we've got blown away by you. This would be such a great kid card. You know, like if they had a good report card or I don't know, something. I just think that's a really fun card for a kid. All right, now I brought the heart pearls back out again because they're my favorite. So let's just put a couple of hearts on the hearts. Hearts on the hearts. There we go. And there he is, he's blowing away. There's, I like when he spins. He doesn't spin every time, but he's kind of bottom heavy. Oh, look, there it goes. All right, man, I could do that all day. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put a piece of white on the inside as well, four by five and a fourth. Okay, and there you have it, a spinner card that I don't think is very hard. Do you guys think that that's hard? I think that's medium, and I think it's, a, makes a special card, right? A little extra special. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Dina. Aw, thanks, Don. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like it. He's so cute. Or she. Okay, one more. It's the cat's turn. Let's get the kitty cat. And we're going to make the cat card. One more drink of Diet Coke. Hold on. <sighs> Good cold Diet Coke. Oh, okay, I've got something to show you too. Um, here's the card that we are making and we're gonna make this little ball of twine or, or like yarn and the cat, we're gonna wrap him up in that yarn. Isn't that cute? Okay, but I'm gonna show you this in a second. We're gonna do some embossing, but we'll get there. We will get there. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is stamp that little naughty cat. Where is my grid paper? In Memento Black all over a piece of basic white that is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, okay? And every time you stamp your cat, you wanna do it a different direction, okay? So that it just looks like craziness, cat craziness. Okay, could do a little bit more like that, fill in those little spots. We're also gonna stamp our cat over here on a piece of thick basic white. All right, now we're not gonna do any coloring to these guys, but we are gonna take our Wink of Stella 
and give her a sparkly crown. Um, yes, she needs a sparkly crown. She's very proud of herself, this cat. She's very proud of herself. Okay, so there's that. I dropped the lid. Um, by the way, I did the clean recordings of the first two projects, but there is not a clean recording of this project. It has just been chaos here, and I've had a hard time getting it all done, and I had to prioritize today and um, I actually filmed the other two this morning. I usually get them done ahead of time, um, but there isn't, there are only two clean recordings this week. All right, clean recordings are recordings of those projects, individual recordings over on YouTube in case you need to come back and watch. I figured this one is probably pretty easy. All right, so we've got our cat. Let's go ahead and color. Is it a girl or a boy cat? I can't decide. I can't, I think it's a her. I think it's a her. All right, so I'm gonna color her smoky slate. And I'm gonna try to leave a little circle around her eye so she has a little white eye, if I can remember. I've already colored it too small. All right, color her and we're gonna give her some stripes as well. I think I used Smoky Slate on all three projects today. I use Smoky Slate more than Gray Granite. How about you guys? Gray Granite is some more brown gray, I think. I do use it sometimes, but I just seem to always go to um, Gray Granite. All right, I'm adding a little bit of shadow on this side of her. All right, we're gonna just kind of blend all of that. Blend, 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 blend. There would be a shadow down here like that. And then we'll take the dark and let's give her a striped tail. And I'm actually going to take the color lifter and lift up a little bit of those lighter stripes to kind of give it a little more um, difference in color. Now I, it looks like I used petal pink on her ears, but I have flirty flamingo. So we'll just use that. Still too bright. It's just too bright. So we'll take that color lifter and do that. All right. Now the question is, where is my daffodil delight on her? Or maybe I used so saffron for her crown. And we will wink of Stella that, like that. Okay, so there she is. Oh, I know, I was gonna make her eye a little bit lighter like that. So she has like a, a white eye. And I think I actually went around the outside with the dark, kind of to give her a funny little half dark face. <laughs> She's cute. She's very cute. All right, paper snips. Go round, leave a slight white border. And we'll go around and around. The crown's a little bit tricky, so just do like a little rounded edge. We don't have cats. My youngest is very allergic, although she loves cats. But it's been kind of a nice excuse to not get a cat because we would probably have cats. We like animals at our house. And we have three dogs, which is one too many. I always say three is one too many. Two dogs is good. Three, you, you crossed over, you cross the line. All right, so we've got that. Here's that little piece of that black and white paper that I showed you at the beginning. And I've got a basic gray circle. Let's see how big is it? About two and a fourth. And I'm just gonna turn it varying widths and just 
do this like there's these lines going across it to make this ball of string that the naughty cat has been playing with. And, you know, it's not the cat who loves twine at our house, it's Pepper. She would totally be all over that ball of, of twine or whatever it is. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use the debossed side. This is the side I embossed. I'm gonna use the opposite side. I think it looks better. And I'm going to just kind of put some adhesive around on there. And then I'm gonna take some white twine and we're just gonna kind of add it around like that, however many times you want. There we go. And then it's just sticking there. That way you can turn it all around, okay? <laughs> all right, so there's that. Now we gotta add some, we're gonna do the same thing to the cat, the kitty cat, because this is what happens to Pepper. She gets all twisted up with the twine, and I'm so worried she's gonna choke herself with it. And look, that cat is just that cat is just so proud of itself. Okay, so see the cat? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna leave those there. Now we got one more thing to do. I have a um, blushing bride stylus shape circle, and we're gonna emboss it with black embossing powder. I want to show you this new fun toy coming in the holiday catalog next Friday. It We've got our embossing buddy back. Yay! So use your embossing buddy. Okay, it's going to release all that static cling. And then you've got, this all comes in, um, I'm looking at this, hold on you guys, because I can see that it still has some gold embossing powder in there. So this all comes together as one piece. I should have cleaned this out and I did not. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. So this all comes as one piece, the little tray and the uh, embossing buddy and the little, the little pinchers. <laughs> I don't know, that's not what they're called. The little grippers. And the paintbrush. Don't I always tell you guys keep a paintbrush around when you're embossing. They've got that. Although it's kind of fat. I think you need a little skinny. But look, I love these. Okay, so this all, it's all one. I didn't put this on the supply list. Look, you can hold your thing and emboss it. I'm very excited about this. All right, we're going to put Versamark. Growing older is mandatory. Growing up is optional. I think that's cute. And then it says happy birthday. All right, well, let's use the pinchers and put some black and whoa. And then you just tap it off onto your little tray and use your paintbrush. Uh-oh, we didn't get those. Or maybe I brushed them off. There we go. Okay, now we will hit it with a heat tool and I will clean this up later when I don't have an audience. Let's get our heat tool. My heat tool plug is like, <laughs> I can't get it to come out. It's wrapped up on something down here. So if, I, if you guys can't see, my gosh, come on. I gotta get it further over. What's happening? I'm gonna unplug everything is what's gonna happen. I'm having to do this with my other hand. All right, so black embossing powder, I forget about it, but it's awesome. It's shiny. And I used Versamark. You gotta use Versamark ink or craft ink when you're embossing. All right, can you guys see how it's shiny? Make sure I got it all. Let me do a little bit more right here. All right. 
No, tweezers, thank you, that's the word. <laughs> pinchers, is that what I call them? You don't wanna call them pinchers? All right, now this one I went a little bit too low. I want this to be a little bit higher. So we're gonna go up a little bit higher like that. After I had stuck it down, I was like, oh gosh, that's too low. And this already has all that adhesive on it. So we're gonna just stick that behind, press it down, get your little tiny strip of DSP, put that right across, like make it straight like that. Make sure that's straight. Now for our kitty cat, we'll use dimensionals. And put him right there. And last but not least, we're gonna add some little black dots. These are our matte black, black matte dots, matte black dots. I mean, you know, black dots are just good to have around. You can use them on a lot of projects. And there you go, a naughty kitty who's very proud of herself. Isn't that cute? I like that card, that's fun. Okay, you guys, we made it. I have a couple bonus projects to show you. Here's the Corgi colored with those markers. Look how cute. I've got another version of that one too with that paper from, um, oh, I just said it at the beginning, Forest Friends, Happy Forest Friends. Um, isn't that cute? Little guinea pig. Okay, and then we've got this one. It was more monochromatic. Look inside. There he is sitting there. Friends like you come along once in nine lives. Very cute. And then here's this card with a hot pink circle. All right. Don't you love it? I don't know. I, I did the light pink for these because it coordinated better with those colors I used on those. But I think I like the, hot, the um, polished pink better. Okay, you guys, I'll have these on the blog next week, so make sure you look for those. I hope you like today's projects. Remember, if you would like me to send these three to you for free, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight, um, $35 minimum, and you got to use the host code. Unless your order is over $150, don't use that host code because you'll get stamp rewards, and I'll still send you the make and takes. Okay, guys, that's it. I'll be out of town next week during the week, Monday through Thursday. We come back Thursday. So I may be slow to answer emails, but I will be back for Facebook Friday to kick off celebration on the 1st. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, I will see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.